Hi, this is the new Windows 7 phone. Um, what you're seeing here is this is the this is prototype hardware and software. Um, so this actual phone you're not going to see on the market, but you will see things that are so much better, uh, different different pro different form factors, different styles, keyboard, non-keyboard. So all you texters out there, um, this is our front lock screen. What we do is you swipe right up, and then you got our new you got our interface right here. You could change the colors here, background, foreground. Uh, to customize it the way that you like. What we have here is we have different um, icons, whether it be a tab or a, or a hub. A hub is essentially like an experience. So if you, so for instance, if you go into this people's hu um, hub, you go into a people's experience where this might be kind of cool. You can actually access all your people here or move or swipe over and you get all your social networking, which is like your Facebook, your Twitter, your whatever is here comes forefront up to the top. And from here, you can easily post back. Just kind of type it, hit send, bam, away you go, done. And these are all your recent. So that's the social networking portion of the fund. So it's actually the social part is very integrated inside the entire phone. And you'll see it. Yeah, yeah. In the same, in the same respect, pictures does the same sort of thing. So from here, if I swipe over to what's new, this is pictures that are only uh, that from, your, from your network, social networking, um, people these are pictures only that are posted up um, and you can actually individualize it so let's say on my front home screen I got what's what, what's called you could you could pin people up here here let me show you how to do that real quick which is it's very nice and easy it's a simple way to the, the people that you recently access you can put a forefront so all you do is just hold this down let's say hold it down it say pin to start. Oh, this person's already pinned to my start. Hold on, let's get somebody that isn't. You can just hold this down just like this, hit pin to start, and that easy, that easily you can pin somebody to the front home screen. And that person, let's say you want to read their postings all the time, just that person, you can swipe over and what you're seeing is only their stuff. So whether it be a picture or a text, um, you, this is what you're seeing, only from them. Now let's get into the really cool stuff games so this is called the games hub or or you, what you want to call it is a games experience yes you're seeing it. it's it's live so you're, you're seeing live Xbox stuff here this actually taps into the live services so when you play a game you actually get achievements you can get gamer scores and different things like that so on the go no no longer are you are you uh, attached to the one at home now you're on the go anywhere you want to be and play games against other people this is pretty cool. So this spotlight, just like you see on Xbox 360. This is your avatar. Now, obviously, that is not me. Over here, you're just seeing your gamer scores, you're seeing achievements, different things right here. And these are requests. So this is like, this does what's called turn-by-turn -turn games. So my turn, your turn, my turn, chess. My turn, your turn, poker. My turn, your turn, yeah, things are like that. But this is how you get to play people um, remotely or from your phone, OK? Uh, and this is your collection of games. Now, when you download a game from Marketplace or the App Store, you can actually take that, what it does is we do a little bit of content management. And that what that basically means is that you take, when you download a game and you load it onto your phone, it auto automatically drops, if it's a game, into your games hub or your games experience. And this is what this is right here. And you'll see that all right here. All your games that you've downloaded live right here. Now let me show you something else that's kind of neat. What you're going to see is these live tiles. These live tiles actually serve a function. They don't just do pretty things and dance around. They actually serve a function. So this little guy's popping in and out, right? What that means is somebody's sending you a message or somebody sending you a request for something is saying, basically, there's something in there. I want you to touch me because there's something, something waiting for you. And the minute you do that, it takes you straight over to your where, where, what it's notif notifying you for. If not, it just stays static. Here is your music experience. So here, or your music hub, videos, music, anything that you want, to, anything you happen to load onto your phone is accessed right here as far as media. Yes, yes. Um, I'm going to tap into that here. You're seeing all these. These are these are fake albums, so um, there really isn't much to this. Um, but what I do want to show you something very important. So these are your songs, and these are your playlists. Just kind of have you see on your Zoom. Let's go back to the home screen. Let's go back to Zune. So from here, um, what you're seeing at the bottom. So you're seeing the Zune here. At the bottom here, you're seeing um, 
an album. So you could pin, remember how I showed you how you, you yeah, could pin yeah. a, a person? You could pin an album, nice. you could pin a playlist. So you happen to create this playlist that you're constantly updating all the time. Well, you can just hit that and you get those your favorite songs right up front, really quickly. So, that's, and as far as more pinning, you could pin web pages. I like to pin ESPN on mine. I like to see gamer scores all the time, game scores. And applications, that's an application. Um, and multiple different things on here. So you could pin a lot of stuff. Um, things that you access the most. Yeah. So in a nutshell, basically, that's, that's our new, this is our new Windows 7 product. Um, it'll be available holiday.